Okay, um, it's been a good two weeks. It seems like it's been a while. Obviously, it has been. So uh, we're anxious to get going, get on that plane tomorrow, and and head to Mississippi. Um, it's been a good two weeks of preparation. We feel like we got some guys a bit healthier. Uh, we're in good shape and looking forward to the challenge here this week. Mark, with Jordan coming back, do you get to move Boogie outside a little bit more? It, it seemed like that on the We do time. because Jordan Bonner has been out with an injury. Okay. So we're going to move Boogie back to Sam. Is Jordan Bonner out for a while? He or? is. Yeah. How are you guys overall kind of health-wise? I know you said you might have missed a few starters that you would have played last week. Yeah, we were, we were – some of those guys – it helped quite a bit, and uh, we're in pretty good shape. And then we had two pretty good practices this week, Tuesday and Wednesday. Got a few guys banged up in that practice, but overall, I mean, mid-season, we'll be we'll be fine. What have you seen from Jordan Jones since he's been back? Eli said he's back to the same old Jordan. Yeah, he's 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 close. We'll see. Um, it's been good. He's been back for a couple weeks, so that was good that we had the bye week where we could just get him, you know, in some reps without any contact at all and just um, getting some looks and mentally getting back into it a bit. I think that really helped him. And then this week, stepping it up more as far as a bit more contact and, uh, and, and seeing, seeing things and seeing some run fits and pass drops and so on. So I think uh, he's pretty close. Does his energy just sort of... I mean, he does. changes the defense a little bit? Yeah, he definitely does. He, yeah, we were watching practice, uh, or I was out of practice, I guess, yesterday. And Darius, I was standing behind Darius, and, and Jordan was Jordan flying around, and Darius just turned around and said, he's back. You know what I mean? so, <laughs> making everybody's tackles. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. There was a... There was talk a couple of weeks ago that Josh Allen could potentially be a, a first-round pick or even a second round. Do you see that sort of potential in him? Well, I believe uh, that was the rat poison that Coach Saban was referring to. You know, so that kind of information is just uh, reckless. You know, so let's let let him. He's a true junior. Let's let him play the game and you know mature and, and, and play the right way. You know. That kind of information is very, very, uh, like I said, reckless, and it's hard for kids not to hear that. And so uh, Josh and I have had a, a couple talks since then, and he's focused and ready to play and doing some very good things. Do you anticipate seeing a lot of tempo from Mississippi State's offense? I'm not sure. You know, I'm not sure. You know, it just depends. Uh, I know they can uh, go uh, whatever pace they feel like going at. They're, they're a physical group. and. And uh, so I'm not sure about the tempo. We'll be prepared for it. What did you uh, learn from your guys after facing Missouri's tempo? Well, that you, you know, just like we talked about going into it, it, it's you can't ever let your guard down for for any one play. And we showed them that from plays from the year before when we went up to Missouri and played pretty well. But there was a play or two that that could have led to big plays. And sure enough, in this last game. They did. I'm not sure it was all because of the tempo, but but that's certainly part of it. And uh, I think uh, for the major majority of the game, we were in pretty good shape with it. Uh, but it's definitely different. And uh, you know, everybody has the ability to do that. You know, just watching the SEC games, you know, we're going to see it again here before the end of the year. We could see it this week, and we'll certainly see it uh, versus Ole Miss. So, you know, tempo is part of our game in college football, and you always have to be prepared for it. Our offense has the ability to do it, and, and we do practice against our offense some, you know, with that. Do you have anybody that simulates Fitzgerald or can even come close, like for the scout team? Well, Danny's a big physical guy. He's done a heck of a job. I mean, Danny just goes, you know, all out. And, you know, he's giving us good luck. Of course, he's, he's a lefty. Yeah. Do you get an extended look at any of those young guys who maybe aren't playing during the bye week? Yeah, we, we got some extra reps uh, with a lot of the freshmen, and, and you know they look good. You know, they're, they're a good-looking group, and we had an opportunity to bring them in and visit with them, and, and uh, you know get all the coaches around them coaching them up again. Is Charles Walker back and good to go? He is. He is. Obviously, the close games are hard on you and the coaching staff, maybe the fans. 
do you can you take some benefit from the close games that, that you guys know yeah. how to win the close games? I definitely. I mean, State think hasn't had a close it, game this year. It, it, it helps. I mean, yeah. it has to. I think our players uh, have been in some close games and some closer than we'd like, but um, you know it does. I think it helps build character, and you know if we could go out and win by more than that, we we. We would sure take it, but uh, it comes down to a one possession game. We've been there before. Everybody good?